Greetings folks, I have another high quality action camera from Thi. This is the Thi T5 Edge. I really like the Thi T5E, it's one of my favourite 4K uh, action cams. This is provided by Gearbest for the review. It has a 170 degree super wide angle lens, uh, has a stereo microphone, 4K 30 frames a second down to 720, 120 frames a second, 14 megapixel photos, uh, image stabilization, long exposure, distortion correction, has a remote control, has a remote control with voice control. Now the specs for this are identical to the Thi T5e, in fact the battery is identical as well, you can use the same battery in both cameras, which is great. 60 meter waterproof housing, so let's have a look inside. So take the camera out of the housing, there's the camera itself, we'll look, have a closer look very soon at that. It's exactly the same dimensions as the Thi T5e, a little bit different styling, I guess. Uh, they say it has a stereo microphone, otherwise all the buttons and slots are in exactly the same spot. There's the housing, good little uh, locked slide-in mounts, nice quality. Where are we going that way? We have a fairly comprehensive instruction manual. It uses the Amberella A12 chip. Uh, I can't see anywhere where it says officially what the sensor is. Uh, so it may not be identical to the uh, Thi T5e, which has the Sony IMX117 sensor. So we get a second housing door with um, an open back for recording audio while it's in the housing. Cleaning cloth, sticky pack mounts, uh, spare battery for the remote. Where's our remote? There's the little remote on a leash, which is nice. Uh, USB cable, more sticky pad mounts, spare sticky pads, and this is a, a rotating uh, clamp mount. And there we go. So that you can, while it's mounted, you can rotate it around. And we have some moisture absorbing pads that you can put in the housing for uh, hot days underwater. And nice little carry pouch as well. Top of the camera we have the Wi-Fi and the shutter release and uh, I'm guessing that's either a microphone or a speaker. Right side we have navigation buttons. On the front we have the mode button and the on off and some nice styling. I don't know about that sticker, I don't really like that. On the left side we have the uh, mini HDMI, uh, micro USB and the SD card slot. On the bottom, excellent uh, quarter inch tripod mount and the battery slot and it's 1100 milliamp hours, exactly the same as the Thi T5e which is excellent. Apparently you get 80 minutes of continuous 4K recording or 100 minutes of 1080p. Let's look at the menu structure. So long press of the mode button on the front. You start up, go straight into video mode. The way I've got it set up, there's the video symbol, mode. Uh, the current or how long you've been recording, how long's available on the card, battery level, record indicator and Resolution, video resolution there, 2.7K 30 frames a second is what I've got. Push the mode button again and we get into the photo mode. At the moment I've got it set up to time lapse, one frame every three seconds. Number of photos we can fit on the card and the resolution of the photos, 14 megapixels. Push the mode button again and we get to the sort of the, the full settings menu. Top button will drill down into the settings. Push again and you can select items and then the side buttons to go up and down to change resolutions 4K 30, 2.7K 30, 1080 60, 1080 30, 720, 120, 60 and 30. Turn image stabilisation on and off and you have image stabilisation on 4K which is absolutely brilliant, 2.7K. 1080 60, you don't have it on 1080 30, which is interesting, but it works really well. Loop recording, time lapse video, great feature. I love playing with this, good range of uh, 
time selections. I'll show you lots of time lapse in a little while. When you're doing time lapse also you can choose the length of the recording time and you can also do slow motion movies as well. Wind noise reduction strange feature this the audio in this camera is absolutely terrible I have to say very disappointing indeed the audio in the Thi T5e was was bad it was muddy and a bit laggy but still usable the audio in this is is weak thin and very low volume uh, hopefully that's going to be fixed up in the future because it really isn't all that usable at the moment but you can turn turn the wind noise reduction on and off uh, you get better audio or better volume with it turned on but it, it's a sort of an over-processed echoey sound if you turn it off the audio goes very low volume and, and tinny and weak sound record on and off auto low light drive mode video scene mode riding I wonder what that is winter diving I never use them anyway and we're back to video resolution alright so push the mode button to back out have a look at the photo settings resolution 14 megapixels beautiful crispy sharp photos uh, amazing quality really that'll be 4-3 aspect ratio this will be the 16-9 aspect ratio good range of selections there ISO time-lapse photo and you can capture full resolution photos at intervals uh, and you can determine how long it's going to photograph for photo burst for a quick uh, burst of photos selfie timer, long exposure and different modes there's the playback screen where you can uh, playback videos that are already on the card and the camera settings uh, 50 hertz and 60 hertz depending on which country you're in in Australia we have 50 hertz power so you stick it on that so that your lights don't flicker uh, you can turn sounds on and off for shutter, boot up, beep, all of that sort of stuff. So I've got it on maximum volume and it's still barely usable. Not good enough. White balance. Exposure value distortion correction works really well as well. I'll demonstrate that later on. And the usual date, time, screensaver, power off. And the Bluetooth remote. You can start and stop video with buttons or you can also use voice commands as well. And it has Wi-Fi as well, but uh, the Wi-Fi app doesn't work with my old phone, so I can't demonstrate that to you. But you can download the Thi Cam app from your favourite download spot. Choose the language, format the card, and system. There's a bit of a sub-menu here. You can default to the default setting. System info is the firmware. This is the very ver first version of the firmware. Hopefully, they can update that and improve the audio and the card info as well. There's also quick access to the uh, each mode's settings by pushing the up button there which makes uh, choosing settings very quick and easy. I like that little touch there so that's good and the down button turns the Wi-Fi on.
this is an audio test with the DI T5 Edge. This is with the wind reduction turned off. Now, wind noise reduction is now turned on, and uh, when I tried this before, it sounded not a bit echoey and weird, odd sound, a bit over processed sort of sound. This is the SJ Cam, S, uh, SJ Cam M20 camera, which has probably got better quality audio. Time for a bit of onboard footage. Uh, this is my, this plane used to be a Skywalker 1830, big fuselage sort of pusher plane. And I've extensively modded it, changed it from a pusher into a, a tractor, uh, cut down the fuselage, put a bigger motor, running it on 4S3000 battery, and it's awesome. Let's go for a ride. Okay, to sum up, it is a high quality video camera. The 4K stabilized video is absolutely stunning. It's uh, focused slightly back from infinity, so it's really good for closer in video. Um, the infinity still looks quite good, but if you look at it closely, it's not quite as sharp as the Ti T5E. The colors and tones are beautiful, smooth tones, natural colors, uh, super, super sharp lens. The 720, 120 frames a second sort of fast uh, slow motion setting gives pretty terrible image quality. It's not something I would want to use. And the audio is terrible. Uh, really needs to be addressed. Too tinny and too low and too false sounding. Now I did try the remote. Uh, the buttons work perfectly. No problems at all. The, I was having problems with the voice control. Um, it did work once or twice but I've got quite a croaky voice at the moment so I need to persist with that and see if I can get it working properly. But as you can see from my onboard footage and uh, walking around footage it is a really high quality video camera just with a few little improvements needed I think. The Thi T5 Edge from Gearbest. Thanks for watching.